Like a problem. See here, you have to find out which is the locus and which, which is without locus problem. See here, they given circular lamina 50 mm diameter rest on HP such that one of its diameter is inclined to at 30 degree to VP and 45 degree to HP. 45 degree to HP and drop top view and front view in this position. See, so last problem we have done the same thing. Okay, first and second position is same. See, first position is 50 mm diameter. Okay, and then you have to divide the circle into eight part. Do the naming. Next, extend the projection upward, and then do the naming here. So this is a front view, and this is a top view. Next, you take this is a surface of lamina, inclined surface of lamina to V H P at 45 degree. Okay, then draw projection downward. So you'll get the one more profile here. So this will be a true length, and this will be apparent length. So why I'm talking about true length and apparent length? See. Here diameter is inclined to VP and HP. So diameter means A and E is inclined VP and HP. So here you have to find out the beta means you have to find out the locus. So why you want to find out the locus means see from the first true length and apparent length you can observe the diameter of the circle is reduced. Okay, A and E and A and E. See here 50 mm is there. Here it is a 36 mm diameter is there. So this is reduced. So if it reduced, how it look like in the front view? That we want to see. So to make it, you know, to wanted to write the front view. So that's why we wanted to find out the locus or beta angle. Okay, so how to find out the beta angle? So to find out the beta angle, you require a true length and you require a apparent length. Okay, so we'll construct that. So first we take true length. So from A to E. Okay, A to E. So I will take one resting on any one point and I'll cut an arc. Okay, so just you now you place this point. It's very much required, and then draw one locus line. Draw one locus line. Okay, draw one locus line. So it's not proper. So make it proper. Okay, so just. Exactly intersection point of the arc and as well as a line. Okay, so next take apparent length. So apparent length is this distance. Okay, it is a 36 mm. So take apparent length again from same point. You cut an arc on locus line. Okay, so but that arc should be very near to the true length arc. Okay, so this is the locus line point. Then, so I'll take this is a A. Then this point is E. Okay. So next, I'll draw this point, and then I'll extend this into a upward. Okay. So this is your beta. Okay. This is your beta. You wanted to find out so how much it is beta. Okay. It is uh, if it is that you know if it is a thirty degree, it is around forty uh, five degree. I'll get. So you are getting 48 degree, okay. So it is around 48 degree or 45 degree you'll get, okay. So now you wanted to place apparent length here, okay. So how to place apparent length? So very simple to place apparent length. So A and E is there, okay. From A and E you draw 90 degree means perpendicular line, okay. So draw 90 degree. So from here draw. to take 90 degree okay so from both the side from a and e take 90 degree okay so draw straight line okay similarly here also draw straight line after that measure from see i have already made a box 1 2 3 and 4 so measure from a to 4 So this e to four is equal to e to three, and similarly e to two and e to one. So I'll cut an arc from all the four sides. Okay, then here also I'll cut an arc. Okay, so I'm rotating it. So I'm rotating it means here you'll get four, you'll get three, and you'll get two, and you'll get one here. Okay, and then complete the box. Complete it. Okay. 
next you wanted to place so this is your a and this is your e so next you wanted to place c and g so very simple measure from 1 2 to c and this will be equal to 3 to g okay so 2 to c from here cut then from here cut so you are rotating this so you will get g here and here you will get c next you wanted to place h f b and d so to make it to place it you wanted to place 6 and 5 first so i will measure from 1 to 6 ok so 1 to 6 this will be equal to 4 to 5 will be equal to 4 to 5 next so this is your 6 and this is your 5 ok next i will measure 1 to 7 ok 1 to 7 this will be equal to 1 to 8 so 1 to 7 from here and then 2 to 8 ok 7 and 8 I draw straight line from here ok again similarly from here you draw straight line ok I'll, here also draw straight line ok so from here also you draw straight line so this intersection point is these are the intersection point these points are called as ABC you know B, D, F and H so here you get B and here you get D and here you get F and this is H so draw profile with a free hand sketch so with a free hand sketch draw profile Okay, so what is the next step? So you draw in you know, a projection line upward. So I'll take from A. So A is on X Y line. So this is A dash. Next we'll, from B. So B is above X Y line. It is here. So this is your B dash. Next I'll take from C. So C is above x y line so where you will get this is c dash next i will take from d so d is is again above x y line so this is your d dash next e so e is top point this is e dash next i will take from f f and d is both are in the same line this is f dash next g g and c is are in both the same line this is your g dash and next h h and b are in the same line This is your H dash. So next, draw profile. Okay. So with a free hand sketch, you draw. So with a free hand sketch, you join all the points. You can to join all the points. So this is the problem. So here you write beta is 48 degree. Okay, so this completes your problem. Thank you.